a mother loving, providing for, caring, and nurturing her child, probably the single most powerful primal force in nature, only perhaps rivaled by the desire to do the thing that leads to the child. I'd like to take this moment to wish every mother out there a very happy Mother's Day. I think this is an important fact to recognize given the state this country is in and what we're facing because it's going to have directly to do with how things shake out in the next 10 to 20 years. I found these images I thought they were appropriate to share today. From a mother to my children, if I had to choose between loving you and breathing, I would use my last breath to tell you I love you. I may seem quiet and reserved, but if you mess with my children, I will break out a level of crazy that will make your nightmares seem like a happy place. Guys, I think we can all unanimously say that this is the case. Now, there's nothing more terrifying, however, than attempting to do everything right to provide for and care for your child, and then events working out in a way that don't allow you to do that. Grocery stores being empty, bank accounts being empty, what can you do? What really can you do when the government decides, you know what, you know what, we, uh, we love our money more than we love our people, so we're going to freeze bank accounts. What if I told you there's a warning out there right now that the government may do this? They're going to say, oh, the money is yours. The money is yours, don't worry, but we're going to not allow you to take it out of the system because it poses a systemic risk to everyone as a whole. How many of you have heard lately that the government believes it's all of our children? Mothers, show of hands. How many of you believe that it's everybody's child? Or is it your child? You see, that's what's coming that nobody's talking about. But real quick, just wanted to give everybody notice. Brand new video posted only a couple of hours ago over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. We talk about this in a different context. This idea of what would a mom do if she was separated from her children to get back to her kids? What would be the bridge too far? What would be the thing you wouldn't do to protect your child, to care for your child, to get back to your child, or get your child brought to you? There would be virtually nothing. And that's going to be key to understand. Unfortunately, things like this we have to talk about in very specific language. And we can't talk about that that way here at YouTube. They have rules. So for only pocket change a month, not per video, not per week, per month. Three quarters, a dime, two nickels, five pennies a month. You can have access to that conversation. And it's going to be important to understand how one thing is going to lead to another that will lead to another that will lead to an entirely unforeseen outcome. That's what we talk about today. One US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Kick the tires for 90 days. For 90 days, up to three months. And then if it's not for you, say, hey, Florida Maquis, I need to, to push the coin return here. I need to get my $3 back. No problem. First 90 days, no questions asked. Would love to have you over there. We can partner with Vimeo to keep that type of information away from the sensors. There's three things going on right now. Massive migration into this country. Why? They want U.S. dollars to send in remittances back. That's what they want. They want U.S. dollars to send in remittances back to wherever they came from. The collapse of the influence of Washington, D.C., the U.S. empire. The inability of the U.S. government to talk to any of those countries and have them listen. And then, of course, the well-documented economic collapse. The collapse of the dollar. Collapse of the economy. The spiraling inflation. Nobody being able to afford, to afford anything at the store. All of these things are going to st swirl in a way that's going to cause something to happen nobody is seeing that has to do with a different story completely. Now, we can't talk about that story here. There's a fourth element that when you add that fourth element in, it paints a picture that is terrifying. That's going to make Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome look like an episode of My Little Pony very shortly. But don't worry. Don't worry, Joe Biden's going to run to the rescue. 
he is uh, going to say, okay, if you don't have, have the money, uh, you know, we've frozen your bank accounts, we get that. All you've got to do is show up at your local Walmart. Of course, bring your, uh, uh, your, your vaccine records, and uh, um, we're going to have these new RFID chips to make the process more streamlined. And then, you know, they will have a little box for you that's going to have your basic needs in it, your government cheese. And, you know, we'll give you that to, to get you through, you know, for the next 180 days. And then we're going to we're going to require you to keep that, you know, that 180 days of earnings back at all times. It's, it's going to be like a savings account you're never going to have access to. And in six months, you'll start to be able to slowly pull some of your money out, but only just enough. And you're going to have to account for every dime. That's what's coming. Don't think so? Even the crypto guys are talking about it. Even the crypto guys. U.S. government may freeze American bank withdrawals as currency panic and capital flight mounts. See, trillions of dollars have left the banking sector. Trillions just in the last year. And people are not putting their money back into banks, not to invest not in money markets, not in CDs, not in passbooks, on nothing. It's all just basically, you know, going into the bank and going right out of the bank and, you know, to pay bills. And some people, a lot, are overdrawn. And many have closed their bank accounts completely and are paying for everything with cash. Do you know someone like that? Here's another warning. Macro guru, the U.S. government may restrict your right to pull money out of banks as panic escalates. See, this happened to the crypto guys. When there was the run on the crypto, the crypto uh, folks, they locked down the ability to withdraw assets off of crypto. The exchanges did. Binance did. Coinbase did. It was terrifying for those guys, and they're warning about it. But those of you wanting to join us over at the Patreon channel, real quick... If you see these, if you sign up for the $1 or $5 level, and you go to the main page, this is the most recent video, by the way, you'll see these six little buttons across the top. Ignore them. Ignore them totally. Way back, a long time ago, there used to be all those levels. And before I had a chance to take down all of the different levels... Patreon deprecated the tool that you would need to post them or retract them. And so the buttons are still there. They just all take you back to the $1 or $5 level. There are no $50 a month level videos. There's no $20 a month level videos. None of this exists. None of this exists. It's just something from a bygone era that I just cannot get rid of. So... But truly, this is the case. This is what, in only a matter of years, North America may look like. A lot of people think the more weapons they have stockpiled, the safer they'll be. It's actually going to make you a target. It's going to make you a target that unless you have a large, very well-trained, very well-organized group, you are just going to lose them. That kind of messes with the ego of a lot of guys. But it's just the case. If you've got 10 guys and all they have are pistols and you have two guys and they have rifles. The 10 guys with the pistols are going to take the two rifles away from the two guys. It's just a matter of you know numbers and time and effort. Two guys can only fire in two directions at any one time, and somebody's got to be sleeping, and somebody's got to be, you know, answering the call of nature, and that means sometimes only one guy can be guarding one direction. And you've got ten guys coming from technically eight directions, north, south, east, west, and then all of the in-betweens. It's just a matter of time. China cutting back on purchases of U.S. corn. This is going to be a killer. The top importer of the crop is turning to Brazil. Why? Because Brazil didn't decide to make an enemy of China by slapping a bunch of tariffs on it. On, on the, the, it's just absolutely insane. Who remembers the Trump tariffs? Making vilifying and making an enemy of China, calling them all sorts of names, not thinking there was ever going to be 
any consequence, long-term consequence for this. Well, now there is. Okay, okay, America, if you're going to weaponize your food, if you're going to weaponize your currency, if you're going to use it as a club to try to bully people into acting the way you want them to act and believing the way you believe, we're going to figure out other ways of getting what we need from other people. How does that work out for you now? Not only are they going to use Brazil instead of North America, they are going to use South Africa, and they are going to turn to India, and they are going to create the multipolar world. Because they're sick of all of the back and forth from Washington, D.C., all of the chest pounding, all of the we're America, we're the best, we're the greatest, blah, 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 blah nonsense. It's a matter of time. For this will be a non-event. This will be a non-thing. will become a minor player on the world stage. Most subsidized, socialized farm product in America. Something that nobody really likes to admit. And they have to have hard questions with um, a lot of the uh, channels they follow. Corn, the most socialized farm product in America. Where the government literally controls the price pays farmers to grow, pays farmers not to grow, controls every aspect of that market, but of course, we're not a socialist country. It's just insane. 2020, 9 billion billion of your tax dollars went to farmers so that they didn't charge too high a price. They didn't charge too high a free market price for things made from their products. Half corn is fed to livestock, 39% for ethanol. It's just starving people, and we're taking corn and turning it into gasoline, or some form of it. It's just absolutely insane. So, anyway, when you see empty shelves, and there's not food, not baby food, things you can't feed your kids, not cereals, Just remember, the U.S. government pays farmers to take food and turn it into something that can be put in gas tanks instead of feeding people. If that doesn't scare moms out there, I don't know what what would. I don't mean to on Mother's Day, but it's just the reality. I've counseled, make plans, and then make plans for those plans. Because things are not going to get any easier. And I would be doing a disservice to the mothers out there to try to paint this rosy, happy, sweet picture and not tell the truth. It's what moms always want. Ask any mom, what do you want? I don't want anything. I just want whoever I'm with, whether it's a partner or a husband or whomever, even my children. I want them to tell me the truth. I want to know what the truth is so that I can deal with the reality as it comes, even if it's not, you know, flowery and wonderful. So yo it to him. You definitely owe your mom the truth. Don't lie to your mom. Join us over at the Patreon channel. We can take the gloves off. Tell a different level of truth. A level of truth sometimes people are a little shaky about. They don't like hearing about it. But trust me, this is going to be a message you're going to want to hear. If you pay for a year at a time, see those three quarters, dime, two nickels, and five pennies? You can erase that dime every month. Only comes out to 90 cents a month if you pay for an entire year up front. So, once again, God bless. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.